Nur so und so ist. The nightmare. I wouldn't call it a nightmare. Like it was weird, but not scary. Good morning. <laughs> okay, let's eat. Hmm, I don't know if we could say goat went to work or saw him leave last night. So, did you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Question for the comments. Do you toast bread or do you toast toast? Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. <laughs> I wonder why she's so restless. She seems eager though. She really warmed up to us overnight. You keep going straight <laughs> from here. I find kinda of interesting that she doesn't have a uniform at all. But I guess I don't really know how the school system really works over there. Oh yeah, uh, we are actually moving in our school uniform. I just find that kind of funny. Um, if that looked laggy, that was the game, that was the recording. It should be fine, but it looked weird on my end. Let's see, be. Yeah, why help someone that was hurt? It was his own fault, right? Main gates of Yasugami High School, which means many come for many gods. Teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we can find some way to change classes, get a different teacher in a, a next semester. Sorry. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, I've kind of had a teacher too that was similar to this. Wasting my time. Makes it more immersive for me. This transfer student, this sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser. They weren't this blunt, there. but so they had sure similar ideas. Not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. <laughs> this will be an interesting mechanic to some people. But we have social stats. So if I adjust our battle ability, we can develop a personality. So if we stand up to it for ourselves, we'll gain courage. And having these go higher will unlock a few events and stuff. But I'm already matched out, so I'll be able to show off all those events even if I forget some of them. I mean, forget some of the stat increases. Effective immediately. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone a I mean, I think they mentioned it was like a six hour train ride or something. In either later or different materials. Every time I turn my back, 
You're fooling around on those damn phones, oh. checking your Check. life journals and your my places. For those of you who don't know, uh, I don't want to say names because I don't know if that can get into any trouble. Uh, the life journal, or the, what it's meant to be parodying, is kind of Tumblr before Tumblr. So that'll tell you basically what you need to know. And the my places are, should be pretty obvious to anyone who knows memes. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. I just noticed there actually are other open seats. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. We can hear people talking this about us. be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about twice. suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. I'll be able to fit in here. Well, there's at least one person from the city, so you would probably have at least one friend. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> Our posture is really bad, ain't it? Gamer spawning. Immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Something happened. It's weird for fog to persist in the afternoon, ain't it? I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, uh, yeah. You mean my Yumi Yamaha? You must be close to the notion, aren't Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Man, this is kind of. One of those games where if you replay it, you'll always hey, notice new things, on? so... Mind if I, ask you something? Is it I hope you will play through it again, or watch someone play it again sometime, some, yeah, sometime down the line. Anyway. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. It's been like a minute. <laughs> before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, you know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's I get I that we're waiting. Next door, yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. I get that we're waiting to be allowed to go out, but it's kind of rude we're just eavesdropping on all these people, ain't it? Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. So we either call our uncle a detective, or we disturb the police officers. Hmm. Incident? <laughs> what, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? I mean, don't you all go home by yourself? Like, you don't normally... Even if you walk or so on part of the way, you reach your actual house alone, don't you? <laughs> Do? <laughs> well, nice to 
meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. I want to like reference a certain I comic, but it doesn't actually fit the way the dialogue is worded, so kind of limited. Uh, um, Miss Satonaka, this <laughs> was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Um. See us. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> Again, I hope my hotkeys were right. What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Voice acting is just phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> Goes on. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. It's not the first time he got hurt. We can leave him be. And if you break someone else's things, you kinda deserve a bit of karma, don't you? <coughs> You're Yuki, right? You wanna go hang out somewhere? Oh. I guess this guy might be another unimportant person that has a voice. What's up with but he has a cutout, so he's different from the gas station attendant. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you can't uh, I think my cat made a move. I hope that didn't interrupt the audio. Uh, so, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. I mean, it could be a double date. What did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? Is it obvious? He never said the actual words date. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. You think his wrist would get tired holding his bag like that instead of by the strap? Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. I wonder why they think that. I mean, it's not like we attacked a politician or anything. <laughs> there really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But I sort of hope that by the time I get this upload, that isn't actually a very bad thing to say from something. But uh, I was making another uh, reference to something else in the franchise. <sighs> I apologize if that is poorly timed. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! <coughs> Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been People love old the things, don't they? Treasure. It's a great inn. Oh, it's clinging to the past. Generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. For it to get over, there must be nepotism, huh? That's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, hmm. huh? Maybe not. She seems like it's not certain. Uh... It's a bit rude, putting me on the spot. Whoa! Are you blushing? 
<laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. I say it's that weird, really. Okay. It's not Second year's high school. That I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, but this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street, wow, who could have imagined that right. hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too mm. late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. What could be hanging down would have caused that down shot this whole body showed up around here. Oh. Wait. Uh that sounds like a catastrophe, doesn't it? Body. Hey, what are you doing here? I mean, I'm curious now, but we weren't before. I mean, we were told to pass by, too. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn <laughs> principal. We told him not to let them through here. I mean, there's kind of a bridge. We couldn't really go another way. his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. My third starting to get a little tired. <laughs> I hope you didn't throw up in the rice field. I'm sorry. Go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Running kind of thinks you small. It was about what do they mean? It was hanging from the antenna. Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then we're taking. I mean, you could argue being in a crowded place would be better if you were scared, but I understand wanting to just get home, especially after the first day of school. It's kind of stressful. Hmm, speaking of being on crowds, can we do anything with Juness? Um, there's an officer here. Yes, two and that Delphi got me high. It would be terrible if anything happened to you, so you should hurry on home. I say elevator is being inspected, but there's two. <laughs> Yet we can't use either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just say real quick. It's not the case for everything, but there are quite a few cutscene areas that you can actually find. So this was the place where we were walking with Nautico earlier. It just sometimes they have weird angles and you don't realize. Let's hurry up and get in. We have to unpack too, right?
The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> Uh, I was checking how long it was actually recording, so I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I don't see a reason to be worried, because he's just doing his job. But, um, uh, maybe we should reassure her. It'll all be okay. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television Bum. antenna. Atop a local resident's roof. This specific thing happens? Uh, I thought it was supposed to be a quiet town. The are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress. And Just accidentally got onto an antenna. <laughs> Local TV station's announcer is found dead, as was said. Yumi Yamano. I said that very weirdly. Really. They found her on the roof? She had the affair with the announcer in the news report in the opening cutscenes. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Great at your genus. <laughs> I mean, it's looking at us expectantly. I feel like she wants us to join when she wants compliments. Like, complimenting people is always good, but I don't think children normally expect that. I certainly did growing up. You memorized it already? I'm the best one in my class. The entire class likes it? I mean, it does get stuck in your head, I guess, but not the most amazing. Mm. Quiz shows are actually rather fun game shows in general. It's not raining, but. We shouldn't really go outside after that. I think we'll see a bit more instead. And trust me, this is a very slow, long intro. But it will get better, or we'll be able to do a lot more stuff very soon. I'm trying to keep my voice quiet because I don't want to interrupt the story. But I it's making me self conscious about my voice being deep. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. I mean, he crashed his bike twice. My bike? What about me? You also kind of deserve it for breaking a DVD. They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Don't know what kind of warning it could be, but... Yeah, we don't know. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. We saw you crash it twice. Why would we accept that? 